So I'm gonna tell you the truth about being a reseller and trying to have a YouTube channel. Hey guys, welcome back to Resell Dojo, where we grow reselling businesses together. It's been a while. I guess actually I probably put out a video a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago, I don't know. So today I really wanted to talk to you guys about why I'm not putting out many videos and it's really because I made a business decision. Now when I started YouTube, it was really just for fun. I actually did not expect to be making any money but what I didn't realize was that it was costing me money from my regular reselling business. Let me just take you guys through some numbers if you don't know, if you don't have a channel or if you're thinking about having a channel, I'll just take you guys through some quick numbers to understand it a little bit. Now for a reselling channel, you're typically making like eight to $10 per 1000 views on your channel. So anytime I get a video that makes a thousand views, I get say, ten dollars so unless you're like a big channel like harry tornado really the time that you're spending on each video is not really gonna be worth it if you're gonna be able to make more money when it comes to your reselling business and for myself i'm making a lot more money on my business because i'm spending a lot more time listing testing sourcing you know all the good stuff that you need to do to improve your business now, I'm not going to say you should be making a YouTube channel if you're interested in it. If you're interested in it, definitely make a channel because it is going to be a nice way to, you know, just take your mind off of what you're doing. It's a nice way to be creative. Um, it's actually helped me more with like public speaking, uh, being more confident in myself, just making videos and putting it out there because, right, you're putting yourself out there for an audience and it's good to be growing those parts of yourself and, you know, you're not able to do that usually as a reseller because it's a pretty solo job and you know just being able to build you know public speaking uh, editing all that type of stuff seo you're building more expertise in different areas that'll help you in your reselling business but it'll also help you if you decide to go you know back into the workforce and stuff like that if you are going to be making a channel you just have to realize that it is going to cost you time when it comes to your business each video that i would put out probably took about three hours from coming up with the idea prepping for it, uh, making the video, editing it, uploading it, making thumbnails, all that type of stuff. It's probably about three hours of work. So if you think about it, if you're gonna make three videos a week, that is probably about nine hours of work that you're taking away from your business. So since I have put that back into my business, I've seen my business grow a lot. Uh, it's also helped that my wife is now working on the business with me, but it has definitely grown a lot. I'm getting actually more rest because I'm saving nine hours a week, you know, 36 hours a month. That's a lot, another full-time job, just making a YouTube channel that is probably making me like $150 a month. So you could see putting a full-time effort into a channel and making $150 a month Yes, there is the chance that you could turn into Josh, Harry Tornado. Every new video he puts out is probably about $1,000 extra going into his pocket for taxes and stuff like that. So if you are in that top one half percent, even less than that, because there are a lot of reselling channels out there, it is better for you to be putting your time into your reselling business you could double your output in your reselling business while spending less time than you would trying to grow a channel. Because if you are not in that top one-tenth of a percent of reselling channels, and that it's actually probably less than that because really, look at all the channels out there. How many are making some really good money out there? You're more inclined to make more money if you spend it on your business, put those hours in your business, I'd rather source another 36 hours a week than make, you know, 12 videos if I feel like, you know, my heart is not into it. I'd rather go and make the money and, you know, be fulfilled that way than maybe spending all that extra time on videos. Now, I'm not saying that I don't like making videos. I actually do enjoy making videos, but there is a lot of time to it and, you know, I'm just trying to get a good balance now of getting my business to the proper levels that I want to achieve. There are goals in my business that I'm trying to hit, so I'm putting my effort and time there instead of into the videos. And hopefully once I get it to that 
uh, ideal state and get that churning, I'll be able to make more videos as well. If you really want to find out how flooded the reselling YouTube market is, just go type in like Poshmark reselling, what sold on eBay, what sold on Poshmark, um, how to uh, go thrifting. Just put any type of you know inquiry into YouTube like that and you will see so many channels you have never heard of that you will never hear of again and you'll be shocked by how many channels are out there. And I'm not surprised because YouTube is a way to make money and us being resellers, we love to make money and everyone thinks that they could be the next big thing. And that's why there are a lot of us trying to make these videos out there. And uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't love making money on YouTube, but I know where my shortcomings are and where my strengths are. And my strengths are with growing my reselling business and my shortcomings are uh, I'm not I don't think my beard is long enough I'm not pretty enough um, I don't have my wife on camera with me uh, and uh, I don't get into any crazy yard sale shenanigans so with those shortcomings my channel's not going to grow compared to a lot of other channels out there so that's just a little bit of the ins and outs of if you have a reselling youtube channel what to expect you know how much money you're going to be making versus what effort that you are putting out there as you can see for myself I don't even get a thousand views per video on average so every video I'm making uh, makes less than ten dollars and that's three hours of work so I'm making three dollars and thirty three cents per hour making a video versus making you know hundreds of dollars of profit if I just listed during that time so you could see why I have decided to pull back a little bit and really grow my business at this time. So thank you guys all for joining me. Hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Maybe I'll make more of these in-car videos, um, though it's gonna be hot as balls here in Phoenix over the next couple of months. But if I do it early in the morning while I have some downtime while I'm waiting for some stores to roll, maybe I'll make some videos like that. So hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe if you're new to my channel. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.